This video is for anyone with a Renai tankless water heater that has been getting diagnostic code number 10 and having the water shut off uh, shortly after you start running hot water. In our case, it was right after a shower. And this problem's been plaguing me for several months. I've been working on it, trying to figure out what was wrong with it. It's taken me forever to come up with the solution. Uh, but thanks to a, another video that I found on YouTube today for another model, uh, I've figured out the problem was the exhaust fan. So again, if you're having error code 10, which is air supply or exhaust blockage, I'll show you what I did to fix mine. Okay, my Renai water heater is a RL94i, and I've already gone ahead and taken the screws out of the side. I'm gonna go ahead and take the front lid off of it, set that to the side, and I've already taken the screw out of the display panel right here. Um, so if you take that off, this display panel pulls out of the way. Now make sure you've got the AC power turned off when you do this. Um, you don't want to be sticking your hands in with live wires. There's three connectors here that need to be disconnected, these three. You can see when you pull them off, uh, they're just quick, quickly pull right off. Uh, the red ones on the left right there, blue and yellow. So you pull all three of those off. You also notice these little red wires. These are just little wire hangers that they put in on here. Um, you'll need to undo those, and uh, I'll just go ahead and pull those off so we can, for demonstration purposes, show you what we're doing here. Now, keep in mind, I've already fixed my water heater a few moments ago, so I'm not gonna completely take it back apart, but you can see that once you pull those off, um, there are a couple of fan screws uh, that hold the fan into the mount. This one right there, you take that one out. You'll take the one on the bottom out right there. There's one on the side, um, that's about the four o'clock position. And then there's one at the top at about the one o'clock position right there. I know you can't see that too well with the light in there, but when you remove those four screws, you'll be able to pull this fan motor directly out. And there's a squirrel cage inside of that. And just like I learned from a previous video, that I saw on YouTube uh, for another model. I saw that that fan motor was caked in moths and dust. Now we've had this unit in since February of 2015 and it has worked great up until about three months ago when we started experiencing this problem. Uh, we'd start a shower up. After about five minutes, the water would start to go cold and then it, you quickly realize the water heater's off turn the water off and turn it back on and it would reset and come back on. And I talked to Renai about it and they said basically, um, you know, it's something in the vent system that, uh, you know, whether it's the, the exhaust right here, uh, there's some reason that the temperature is building up on the inside. There's a thermistor in there that uh, essentially reads a higher temperature than expected. And I believe they said it's, it's greater than six degrees of the set point uh, it'll trip and cut the heat off. It'll um, basically cool the water back down until you turn the water flow off. Now, I just replaced all my ductwork because I thought that was the problem. I had some condensation around the seal on the inside right here. Um, and, and, you know, if you notice, I don't, I've got this cap on the side because I'm, I'm directly venting out my wall behind this. So I, I didn't necessarily need the drain hose. Uh, but I am going to purchase that separately after talking to the sport team and realize that, you know, I've got some condensation that's built up over time. And um, if I pull off my unit here, so you'll see this is what the inside of that pipe looked like. Now, I've cleaned this one up, but you see the pitting that's on it? That was from corrosion on the inside of that pipe. And... Uh, I thought that may be causing the problem, maybe letting some, uh, you know, basically dirty air come back in, the exhaust air come back into the fresh air, but that was not the problem. Um, so I had attempted already to fix that, uh, but I just decided to go ahead and replace that and, you know, this piece right here as well. And none of that was the problem as I suspected. There was a little bit of, you know, condom or, well, it probably is from condensation, but there's a little corrosion down at the bottom of the inside of the pipe there. That was not the problem. Here's our exhaust vent for the Renai 
as you can see here, it's about maybe five feet from our dryer vent. And one thing that I noticed that was inside the fan was the lint, very small amount, but there was some lint in there from the dryer. And again, you can kind of see, there's a spider web next to it, but you can kind of see, you know, just some of the remnants of the lint that blows out there. And I do clean this out from time to time, but just naturally it probably, you know, we might be running the dryer at the same time that we're running the hot water heater and it's sucking in that lint. I also took the fan and uh, ran the fan under some water uh, in my uh, sink, sprayed it out, didn't get the water anywhere near the motor shaft or anything like that, but I uh, uh, essentially knocked all that crud off of the fan blades and then blew it out really good and dry and then put it back in there. And here's my finished product. Uh, after the repairs, first thing I noticed is that my fan volume is much, much lower. I also lowered the temperature on the thermostat. I originally had it at 140, and then I, uh, for the last, probably the last year, we've had it, we've probably had it on 130, and that was just a hair too hot, so I've lowered it down to 125 degrees now, and you can see it's running right now. Hot water's been running for over 10 minutes. It has not gone off. Uh, we've been plagued by this hot water turning off during the middle of a shower, and, um, you know, it'd go off about after five minutes or so, and then it would turn off until you turn the water off. And as long as you let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute, it would reset and you could turn the water on um, and have it start heating back up again. I have uh, some four gallon point of use hot water heaters right beneath my kitchen sink and right beneath my master bathroom. And so that's always given us initially hot water until the Renai has fed hot water the rest of the way. Um, and then by the time the Renai hot water reaches that water heater, the water is good and hot uh, and it blends in nicely where you really don't notice a temperature change there. But uh, again, it's somewhere around 125, 130. Um, and that I think this is gonna work out well. All right, I hope this all solves all of your problems as it's been haunting us for quite a while. I think this is finally, um, basically fixed our problems.